Well, it's not even on the air yet, but one of the top executives of Sun TV's All News Network quit today. Corey Tonight stepped down, saying his political past has become a problem. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malefsky, explains why that had a lot of people talking today. Terry. Well, Peter, this would be just a routine boardroom shuffle, except for a couple of things that make it intriguing. First, that Corey Tanike is so politically connected to the Prime Minister, no less. And second, the odor of dirty tricks. The Prime Minister's vision is for, for lower taxes. Corey Tanike used to be Stephen Harper's communications director before quitting and doing a brief stint as a conservative commentator on the CBC. Then he quit again to set up a new conservative news channel. We're taking on smug, condescending, often irrelevant journalism. It's time for hard news. But the proposed channel, owned by media tycoon Pierre Carl Pelado, was immediately dubbed Fox News North by critics on the left who say it'll be right wing propaganda. A global activist group called Avaz set up an online petition against it, and that is when things got strange. All kinds of journalists and political staffers who did not sign it got emails thanking them for signing. Someone added their names without asking. I checked my mailbox and there was a letter thanking me for signing. Did you sign? No, I didn't sign. I hadn't even gone to the web page until I got the, uh, the letter. A the CBC's of... Katie O'Malley was annoyed and then intrigued to see that Corey Tonight quickly published a column saying maybe Margaret Atwood signed, but the petition was bogus because of all the fake names on it. Names which were not made public, but which he happened to know. So, was Tanike in on a scheme to discredit the petition? How did he know the phony names? You don't reveal sources. But Avaz tracked the source of the names to one computer in Ottawa, and yesterday they asked the RCMP for a fraud investigation. No word yet from the Mounties, but today Corey Tanike quit. The problems associated with such a quick move from active politics to overseeing a bureau covering the very government you just worked for are obvious. No argument on that from Avaz, but they say there's more to it. If this was a coincidence, it was a very unlikely one because the resignation was sudden, it was unexpected, and, uh, and it occurred just 24 hours after we had requested a criminal investigation into a, a fraudulent uh, sabotage of our campaign. Now, Corey tonight did not take questions today about the petition caper, but he did admit that he was partly to blame for debasing the debate about Sun TV. On the other hand, he's got tons of free publicity for a channel which so far, Peter, does not exist. Terry Malefsky in Ottawa. Thanks, Terry.